in terms of the rosters, mencool.tf, you should be familiar with them. They do have the far superior roster in terms of DM and experience. I mean, all, all the players on Minkul have played Prem, I think, more than once for all of them. Can't quite confirm that, but I reckon it's probably true. And none of the players on TCM, apart from Flushy, have played Prem. Actually, no, Sheepy's played Prem. So, obviously, experience and general DM is all on Minkle.tf's side. And Ips, being the big, big spearhead of the team, is a very, very powerful presence in Mumble, and he definitely knows what he's doing. So, I reckon it's going to be very difficult for TCM to take this map. Yeah, I definitely agree. Currently, the situation I'm facing is that my laptop charger, which I'm doing this through, has got a really frayed wire. And I just got the notification at that second. Quite fortunate that happened now. That I've got 10% of my battery life um, remaining. So I'm currently holding a frayed wire into my laptop um, <laughs> charger adapter, hoping that I'll get it into some position where it will be able to work. Otherwise, I have to find someone else to do this or cast one-handed, one of the two. Well, hopefully you don't electrocute yourself, I assume that's the main goal. Well, I'm holding it through tape, so I think we can just pan that out. But I'm watching the green light. I'm trying, trying to get. Uh, this is this is a saga in itself. Forget, forget right. the drama of the map. This is this, <laughs> this is, is the the real story of the cast. Will Ali survive to the end? <laughs> By the looks of it, I like that. Oh gosh, I need a new charger. It looks like they're restarting the map, so hopefully it will be underway soon. Come on, little charger. So, predictions, Ali? Um, uh, well, main call 5 -0. Sorry, Sorry to burst anyone's bubble who was hoping for a close game, but... I reckon, I reckon TCM can get, can get a round on the ball. I'm going to go 6-1 main call. I believe in TCM. All right. Um, sorry. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> I'm hoping this is going to work out. <laughs> Uh, it's getting scarily close to zero, my charge from about, um, uh, I don't know. I understand the pain of having a laptop with no battery. Have you got, have you got a straw poll out in chat for um, who's going to win this game? It'd be interesting to see. Let's see how many TCM fanboys there are. The people who like to watch Flushy back in the infused days. Well, I, I come into the flushy fanboy category, but I still wouldn't bet on them in a million years against main crew. Oh, back when flushy was infused, were you were you playing TF2 then, or were you just? Uh... I was. I think I was just watching. All right. Oh, I'm getting a server connection issue. Is that my end? I don't know. I've got my left hand under my desk at the moment, trying to find a good position for my charger. With my right hand on my push to talk. <laughs> not the optimum setup, but not really. No, it'll have to do. I can confirm, not the optimum setup. The worst bit is the noise that keeps coming on and off. Um, that tells me my battery is now nine percent. Every time I like, I push it in, and then it, I like let go, and it goes, it goes dark, and it, it's a massive noise. It's just like your battery is nine percent, like a siren. <laughs> it's not very fun. No, well, hopefully the. Next map will not last longer than your battery life, as I have a feeling it won't. <laughs> ah, they're changing servers, okay. So, there's a lot of issues with servers tonight, actually. I've never really had any of these issues myself. Yeah, I don't know. Like, privileged, privileged world of the UK. Yeah, the best paying outside the Netherlands. How are you? How are you doing in terms of wires? Are you all sorted? Oh no, <laughs> I'm going to my friends to see if there's anyone who can swap in for me. Right. I really don't want to. Could you not get some sellotape and try and tape it in? Oh, I already have. Ah, right. But the tape's fraying or something. Oh, I thought I almost had it then. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's in a position, I, there's, there's a wire now which I, which I pretty much, I'm not going to be able to touch at all. Excellent. It's a sign. It's a sign that the next game is going to be excellent. Okay. 
I'm pretty sure sometime during this sentence it's going to cut out, but no, it's not. This is good. Um, if, if, if the mumble goes dark partway through, it's not your end, it's me dying, but... Okay. It adds, adds a new dimension of fun to the game. Yeah. Um, kind of same SDV as before, risk. right? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, sorry? Same, same SDV as before, is it? Um, I'm not sure. They're changing servers, so it's not actually up yet. So hopefully we can get underway soon. I reckon it's going to be the same SDV now. Sure. Uh, no different SDV, I think. Are you in Slack? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm getting more quickly. Okay. You, you missed all the panic, well, not panic, but annoyed conversation between the people on the back end about how they kept changing servers earlier. And you see the real dirt of CFTV. All hail, Ari. Oh, I like that. Have you promoted this this uh, scroll poll? I, I've been out oh, of yeah, touch yeah, for the past five yeah. minutes. <laughs> I think we all know what it would say anyway. Yeah, I think we can. I can, I can pretend I'm reading it, um, and it would say something like. 98% um, in favour of um, main chord and the six players on TCM in favour of TCM. Well, may maybe even not that, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah we got... can stay positive. Stay positive, indeed. But, I mean, we've seen TCM come through two maps so far. The second one against our expectations as well, so... Yeah. Definitely surprised me. I think it's gonna it's impressive enough if they manage a round. So yeah, especially we um, see. do we know where these guys are going to be placed next season? I mean, um, I heard that there's going to be changes to prem, so it's only going to be four teams in prem. Really, like a completely different season. Okay, completely different uh, way of the season working. So each team plays each other twice, and then they're playing for the top three playoff spots instead of top four. All right. Um, I'm not sure if that's still going through. I just heard talks of it happening. Sounds but... like it could be good or it could be... It doesn't sound like... It's not like a well-stomping idea, but... it. And in terms of, like, the situations where you have every... There are, like, quite a lot of times when a team, like, drops or two, one or two teams drop compared to having good yeah. games all season long, then I imagine all the top teams would get pretty... pretty bored of playing each other, though, in terms of PCWs. Oh, but they, they pretty much only play each other in PCWs anyway. I mean... Oh, I suppose. But I mean, when you've got an eight eight team wide prem, you've got a lot of people who the the lower teams in prem are still motivated to try really hard. Yeah, but it's always pretty much the same thing. It's I can't remember the last time there was an up like an upset. I think the last sure. time there was an upset in prem was probably what season I think it was season thirteen, maybe season twelve, where the Frenchies did sure. surprisingly well, and they actually got into the playoffs where no one would ever see them getting there but sure, yeah. recently it's kind of been very obvious like just epsi winning mig winning that kind of thing have you seen the new french roster oh yeah it's the same as the old one well yeah it's pretty much just best in france on a, on a single yeah. team yeah but unfortunately Besides Knox, maybe, maybe unfortunately all you flip lovers flip isn't actually going to be returning he's just back up so it's going to be the same as the previous roster, which I'm going to say was season 17. I'm not sure that was a complete guess. Possibly. Would you include yourself as a, as a flip lover, ex-teammates stuck? I definitely consider myself as a flip lover. Uh, I want to see Flip return. How about Flippy? Oh, yeah. yeah. Flippy's really good as well. But I know I've never really spoken to the guy. Um, yeah, sorry, just having conversations with people, Flushy asking if we're good to go, and us not having the connection yet. Apparently Ips is in the zone. Ips is in the zone, in terms of not replying about server. <laughs> yeah. I can't ask Ips anything else, because he's too busy being in the zone, so I, hopefully we're going to start. Mm. I can give you inferred commentary about what the game might go like by the current stats in the warm-up, which is... Rising hitting air shots, captain hitting air shots, captain killing quite a few people, Sam, Sam getting a couple of kills. 
apparently Ips has been smoking something naughty, and <laughs> I can't get something serious or really co coherent out of him. But apparently the problem is with Flushies because it's his server. Okay, well, Flush Flushies posted the um the connect to us now, so hopefully we'll have that connected to the relay. It's the same relay as before for us, so if we just keep retrying, then hopefully we'll get through in a bit. And then David will be through at pretty much the same time, and clearly the teams are good to go, so hopefully starting within five minutes or so, I'd guess. Yeah. That yeah. sounded very hopeful. <laughs> okay, I keep putting scared glances. I've got my feet resting up on the on a chair to the other side of my desk from my cable, so I am a minimal chance of kicking it and dying halfway through. Ari's connecting the relay currently, so I'm calling it three minutes. No pressure, Ari. It's in. Go. Oh, baby. When did you last feel this excited? Oh, I don't know. I don't think I've ever felt this excited before. This is just the pinnacle. Tell the teams to go. Excellent. So we should be starting in roughly about two minutes. Flip your flip. So uh, I'm not sure if we've done the rosters already. Oh, well, uh, I mean, we've, do, we've done main call before. Rosters. We've done main call before and we've done TCM for the past two maps. So hopefully everyone's in touch. Um, for those who just joined, we're watching main call, the probably undisputed best team in Europe at the moment. Um, we haven't seen the Frenchies play um, against TCM, who we've seen come through the quarterfinals and the semifinals on the stream in the past hour and a half. And they are playing with Flushy on Medic, Seller on Demo Man, Samsa and Captain on Soldier, and Happy Cool and Sheepy on Scout. Yep, and on okay. the main, main call side, they seem to be better in every aspect. With Warhayer on Demo, Samzi and Kyla for fun on Scout, Ips and Rising on Soldier, and Merlin on Medic. So really a kind of a superstar team of all the big names in Europe. I mean, it came around so soon after I-52, it was a case of no one had settled yet, so Ips, I think, who made the team, just sort of picked the best at his disposal. I think the last person to join the team was was Samzi, but, I mean, Samzi is still top class level, but it was a case of them fitting someone to play with Kylo, who's probably the best scout in Europe at the moment. And Yeah, he's definitely up there. So it's going to be, as we've said before, numerous times if we've waited for the server detail, that's going to be very difficult for TCM to make any kind of impact on this game. But we're casting it anyway, just for that one in a million chance that they can cause an upset. Well, if it happened, we definitely want it casted, so exactly. we're going to have to keep casting the upset games until one happens. For probability's sake, one of them surely will happen at some point, a massive upset of some kind. Who who did Epsilon lose the last season? Actually, that was a pretty big upset. Oh, so uh, Fobo Pandas, whatever. Fobo. Lazy Pandas, that's one. Of yeah, those. all the Panda incarnations. Mm. Hildreth's team. Hildreth's team that would be funny. the more accurate description. I don't think I actually watched that game. Oh, it was just a train wreck of a game. I don't think Epsilon were taking it very seriously, and then once they started losing, Knox got angry, and then it all went wrong from there. Hmm. Well, the way you described it's his, Ips' his level of keenness or introduced it, then um, I imagine that kind of that kind of slack won't happen. As the good luck have fun to come out, and we are going to see um, both teams ready up for this game. I just noticed Happy Cool on Spy. He's going to be checking if Merlin's got crits. That's really clever. But ultimately, we're going to be seeing the ET after well grand final of the Log Champ Cup. Come, both teams come all the way through the knockout competition. It's going to be main quarter here versus TCM, first middle, and there is a pause. Oh no, it's unpaused. Um, neither, row, neither, neither team doing a fast roll actually, we said the main call might do that beforehand, but both teams playing it fairly casually so far. Um, no jumpers yet either, main call waiting to see if they've got anyone to pick off. Now they're walking across the point, it's just walking completely on point, jumps to take a hike, gets completely shut down actually. Nice work from Sheepy there to take him down, first fight goes to TCM, and all the frags are coming from TCM actually, it's just Mirren and Kyle left alive. Kyle needs to do a massive job as he wants to clean up, he does get the kill on the flush, Kyla. and Kyle is still going. He just gets taken down again by Happy Cool, and it will be a mid to TCM, but TCM anyway, what a start. Oh, really well played, and it's kind of not what I expected at all. War didn't do as much, like he didn't dominate the mid as I assumed he would. And yeah. He kind of, he, he was doing well at the start, and then I just kind of saw him start going for miracle pipes. 
like yeah. the, the highest air shots I've ever seen, but they didn't connect, unfortunately, for him. Yeah. I expected yeah. earlier aggression, I think, from Rising. He did well to take down, um, to take down Flushy, but I imagine like they would have wanted a bit more aggression from him sooner to make space for Ips to walk across. Ips sort of jumped before Rising, I think. So, um, I, I think that's something Ips likes a lot on middles to have the Roma instigate, if not damage, but a lot of distraction and allow the, the rest of the team to move forward. But either yeah. way, as a result, we're seeing an equal Uber situation, but with TCM in control of the middle. I'm surprised by how far back TCM are. I, I can only imagine that they're scared of scared of a crit or something, something sneaky. They're sitting really far back, they really want to secure this Uber. And now they've got it, they want to push through Cave, it looks like. Oh no, no, they're going through Choke. Yeah, pretty and standard it's here. Um, it's standing close though, not, let, let, not going to let any mistakes go unpunished, I think. War there too, not really doing a massive amount there. I think he's just hanging back as Kylo gets a bit too greedy. Oh no, I think he got the force, did he? Yeah. I'm not sure he came in. I thought I thought he'd just been taken down by um, Settler's Dickies there. But Mirrolin catches a really nice surf. He didn't have to pop there. Um, I think he just had he just had enough health to survive. But he had his back to the back to the choke, so he didn't know that. They get the they get the frag on the happy cool, but nice work from TCM to juke the rest of that Uber and not lose any players. That was really surprising. And the fight's still going on, in fact. It's getting a bit messy, and TCM could look to take this, in fact. Well, the soldier comes in from advantage. behind, they're rising and getting down Flushy. He went behind from that story area, he was being chased, but not quickly enough. And this is going to be a massive advantage now in favour of um, main call. Still numbers are equal, but they need to come with any aggression if they're going to come now. Mirrolin catches a massive surf. He's stood on top of the thing, oh they can't kill Mirrolin. Mirrolin duking. Can they get Mirrolin? There's a surf scout no. trying to chase him down. They just need to kill Mirrolin now, it's just the scout left alive. Mirrolin, incredible work down to 30 HP. One last shot, oh, he gets he him! That would be cool! Mirrolin was making them look like fools standing on top of that little fence. Mirrolin dodged the whole team diving. for so long. But that just was... couldn't. Uh, no, it was something special. Unfortunately, yeah. he doesn't stay alive, but his, dis his entire distraction of staying alive for so long, one is taking mid fight, and they moved on to second fight. And it looks like they could get a number of frags here, but in fact, no, they're moving back. They're happy with just getting the second point, and TCM should be able to recap. Uh, lay, laying blame um, on the on the scouts there for Minko not cleaning up quickly and costing Mirrolin his epic his epic moments. Um, Mirrolin's actually on Crit's Creek. He's got a bit of a disadvantage, but it looks like they're gonna try and force TCM as they come in, and then recrits from that log room area because they can get an excellent line of sight onto the point. And as I say that, set that actually dies. Yeah, the pressure was too much. They all tried to run through that single choke area and just didn't get enough done. Um, and I think they're gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of pressure coming from main core now. They really wanna have a good Uber here, TCM, because I think they're gonna be forced back quite a lot, but this quit, the quit's gonna come up flushy. It's gonna pop just in time. He gets forward, manages to save his whole team. They're gonna be a big Uber advantage now from Mirrolin and I think they're just going to have to hang back TCM if they're not chasing after this. Oh, but the soldier just jumped past War. Um, oh, that was Samsa. He was so close to taking down War, but they're going to lose both soldiers in this. Sheepy does really well to finish off. Sheepy. And Mirrolin. Oh Incredible. Can God. he get War? Sheepy he gets War. Huge. Amazing there by Sheepy. Sheepy just plus forwards into three people, gets the pocket demo and the medic. That was just really, really well played. Is he going to get chased down? He must get chased down here. Yeah, Flushy's going to die, but that would have been... There's still a chance here for TCM to hold, and there definitely wouldn't have been if Sheepy hadn't gone so huge. Yeah, that was really, really well played. And I'm going to... Curious if Merlin's running crits. No, he's not. He's actually got a decent advantage, though. He's Wow, he's got really large advantage, because Flushy died so late. It looks like it's going to be about... 50% advantage, and that's definitely enough to work off. I'm going to see which door Ips elects to push through. I'm hoping it's going to be the bottom door. So it's going to be main based on past experience of watching those guys push. Um, yeah, no off classes besides that Pyro, of course. Um, I was talking in terms of attacking teams at 90% now. I think that's a pretty good position where Merlin was stood there in that little connector area in terms of survival. Um, it's I'm not what sure. But Ips is pushing through the door where the Pyro is. Pyro get, is not, there's two scouts there, but they're not killing the Pyro quickly enough. They've achieved nothing, still fixing that Pyro. The Pyro's gonna survive, they've got no frags. And the soldiers are far forward. Kafka catches Mirrolin and, um, and Kyla before they get in. They lose both soldiers, but they've still got the player advantage right now. Will there be a back cap? That's a big question. There's a soldier, two soldiers in the demo left alive. They can see they can see two of them in the lobby. Where is War is the big question. He must be far back. Yeah, he's escaped now. Really nice hold from TCM. Ips should have uh, listened to his past experiences and gone through that main exit. 
We've yeah. seen people get stuck by that pyro all day. It seems no one seems to be learning from it. And TCM got full Uber pushing on, but Kylo is actually spy. He's flanking choke now. He's not Kyla. sure where the medic is. And TCM Kyla. Haven't, haven't forced. This Kyla's is coming up. You can see the medic. He's he right behind the medic now. Kyla on point. Oh. Behind the medic. He gets it down with the flashy. Oh, wow. He's going to get the double kill. He gets the double. Well played by Kyla. Oh, I thought he was going to get another of the pistol then, but really nice work from Kyla then. He kind of lucked into it. Didn't know where the medic was, but got the frag. And main is just going to come in now and completely clean up. Just Kafka left alive. And he's just going to get destroyed in the air by the stat gun of Samzy. And that's going to be the first full wipe we've seen. Now you could tell by how easily TCM were getting into mid that Ips was telling them not to force TCM so Kyla could get that medic drop and he, he definitely delivered. And it's going to be, should be, should be another uh, push onto last that should be successful. But they're going through this door again and Ips is going first and he's behind his pirates. They wow, get the pirate he gets kill, destroyed but... by the sniper. Yeah, they lose, they lose Ips as well. Didn't manage to get in the, get in the Uber from... Um... Getting the Uber from Mirrodin as now Flush is running forward with Zubra out. He's gonna go down, which is a pretty poor decision actually, because they could have held it without him doing that. It's I think it needs to do some really good work on the DM side of things right now. If he's got a scout with him, that's Sam. And Sam's on the on the um, demo man on the point now. He's just gonna take him down. Like Kafka is still up at the moment from the hiding ground. Survives with six HP and happy cool spawns in time to take down Mirrodin. Again, another solid hold from TCM. The pushes from Main Call really aren't working. Well, I was surprised that Menkul managed to lose that. When they got behind the point, built the heels, and Flushy was healing no one, I was really surprised that they managed to hold on to that. And partly was due to Kafka surviving with 6 HP and actually doing quite a lot of work. I think he hit, he hit a few directs on 6 HP. And if he died, I think that would have been game over. And Happy Settler cool. going down. Happy cool. I've seen him do this on Rollout a lot. Doing a thing that a lot of scouts really should do more in the case of going spy and then switching to medic because that way you can see what medic gun the other medic is using, if he's using crits or not. Um, but either way, we're going to see them come through now. Going in non-Uber, Ips gets completely destroyed though, completely destroyed instantly. But it's a distraction as they get so close on that point. Just a soldier left. War is still in, trying to do damage. He's with oh, Mirlin. War hitting incredible like stickies. Now. That's three kills in quick succession. Is War now just trying to kill Settler. Oh, Settler. Settler. And Settler gets the hold. That was incredible work from both them. And Settler coming out on top in the end. Oh, Demo that was Man amazing. MG, that's all that is. What? All those hours of Demoman MG Settler yeah. plays, it's all paid off for that Falling one moment. Through. That was really well played for, by Settler. Uh, Rising played well to get the initial frags to bait everyone onto the point for the mincemeat, the grinder of War's stickies on the point. And Kyla's looking to do something? No, he's just backed off. And I don't know, just uh, oh, crits actually. It's not standard Uber trade. Mirror's actually got crits advantage. And I'm curious as to where they're going to push for this, because obviously it seems like a bad idea to crits in top right with that pyro. So I assume they're going to do left side or the main door. Yeah, I mean, if the pyro, if the pyro is where he's stood now, just behind that wall, then he's not going to be able to defend his medic unless his medic stands quite close to him. They can't as they where the medic is right now because of that little glass window, and they can see the scout building, so they know he's there. If he stands quite close to the pyro, then he might be all right. Depends the on how good the reactions the are. He get he gets the he gets the uh, pyro, misses the medic completely. The wall going down as well. Did he, did he put a sticky on the wall he, right next to he him? He put a sticky on the pillar and oh, this that's is, a looks like it's going to be a decent uber from TCM coming out. Oh, Flushy doesn't pop. Uh, I think he should have popped earlier then. And they lose Settler and Kyla for fun is causing havoc behind. Oh, the cap, it's so close. Kyla coming in there, um, I think that was Sam who went down. But Kyla came in through the through the sneaky area. I haven't really seen that used much. Ips trying to come in to do something. But Merlin is so weak. War's going to be there. They're coming with a big stick. He's got so much damage done. It's going to be tough to hold now if they want to keep pushing. The crits, the crits as well. Are. The crits is like up from Merlin. The main door. Where are I'm they going to use I'm it? I'm on the war cam. It is going to be main. I'm on the war cam too. He's missed everything so far though. Hasn't got a single frag. He's getting pressured now by Settler. Tries to shoot out another one, but he's done absolutely nothing. The pressure on the point though. The soldier came in from the sneaky area. That's right. It's going to be so close. They should go in now, main court. I think they can do it, but they need to be so careful of the point TCM. If the soldiers jump through it, but they're doing such a good job of holding at the moment. Settler and Sheep uh, getting frag the end. <laughs> Flushy decides to peek a soldier close range, hit him with an arrow. <laughs> and it's it worked out, but um, it's full white for Minkle. And they can't push last. This is incredible. T TCM are playing really well at the moment. Like, this is a much closer game than we were both expecting. Yeah, I mean, of all the games, we'd think the ones involving Minkle would be the 
least competitive, but I mean, we haven't, we didn't even see any early rounds. It's still nil nil after 12 minutes. And Flushy's got a very, really large Uber advantage, and they're pushing through choke. And they don't really want to force here, but I have a feeling Rising has other ideas. Oh, the and big right. jump, but the big air shot! Oh my gosh, Captain hitting insane shots there. The force comes out anyway, but those, those, those shots are incredible to deny the jumping soldier. Um, they're going to come back in. Ips manages to get some good damage, and War follows up with the two two big sticky kills. He wants to follow up, but he overextends a tiny bit too much, and Happy, Cool, and Sheepy get three frags between them. Will they get another? They take down Mirilin. There's this one scout Dylan left in from main core, and they're going to clean it up. What's that, five frags for the scouts alone from TCM? Yeah, it was ridiculous. They it was complete clean up. I mean, War got a bit greedy there. I think Ips was telling him to go in because he did decent damage, but it was obviously the wrong decision. He had to push through a tiny choke and they all got cleaned up. Yeah, they should have just kept their uber advantage and it looks like it's going to be a fairly easy spy after TCM. The double air shot from Captain initially when Rising made that jump through choke was incredible. Um, now trying to put some pressure onto the Spire at the moment with the counter jump coming out from... Oh, but Settler with the big damage. Wow. He's going to pick up two frags. It's gonna, they're going to lose Captain and War's going to be up on that Spire, but it's pretty risky at the moment for the main core guys because they really don't have much to back them up. War trying to get out here. He's going to be jumped after by Kafka, but he's going to be um, he's going to be kept alive by Samzi, that is. Samzi now peeking out. Um, they could... They really just looking to catch off any players at the moment, make a call. But if TCM just move forward together, they've got such an advantage now that we could actually be looking at the first round going in favour of main call. Uh, sorry, TCM if they manage to push where where main call have failed. Right? How are TCM going to get by this pyro then? Let's see. They are. They should. They should really go main. But we've only ever seen them push. Well, I think they, they've done a couple of other pushes. We've watched them for an hour or so, and they've capped a lot of rounds. But I think they've pretty much always gone top right with this. And They're the Pyro is stood right there. Merlin the Pyro doing an amazing job so far. They haven't. Wow. They finally kill him. Merlin, Merlin is far too close to choke. Merlin surely going to go down. Merlin does go down. Oh my gosh, they need to kill the heavy though. Will they get damage onto the heavy? The spam is coming out onto him, but Rising picking up two frags is not going to help. There's just two players left alive from main core. Are we going to see the first round? We must see the first round. It's just War alive. Is he above the point? No, he's not. He's in spawn. He jumps out. And it's going to be the first round. Well TCM. By TCM. Yeah, that was that was a really really good push. I mean, it looked a bit shaky there when Rising got that double kill, but they just about managed to edge it out with their soldier. I think he was on. I think it was Samsa again. who was on like 10 HP, being the difference there. Yeah. Um, wow. This is this is. I think we might see Menkel really tur turn it on right now. Well, they need to because if we see another slow 15 minute round, this match is going to end one nil. Um, as we see once again, a fairly slow mid coming out. Scouts from Inkle moving over to that left side, just making sure no one can jump from that lower area. Actually, Rising, I think, is going to be walking right behind them. They were just walking over the point, Minkle. Um, TCM completely letting them do it, but Captain with a massive air shot! He's taking so many today, completely plucks Rising out of the air, and they follow through. Captain with two more frags. Has this bit all been Captain so far? Happy Cool picks up Mirilin, but oh my gosh, Captain is just playing out of this world. I'm missing all of these air shots. I'm a terrible caster. I need to get more on Captain, but... He's playing really well at the moment. This is unbelievable work from him. And I, ca I can't imagine main crew are happy right now. As we see the 100% advantage coming up from Flutty. They're going to be pushing last. They've, they've got 100% push rate so far. I can't believe we're seeing this. He's going to force it. Oh, sure he's going to force it. No, he didn't force it either. How low was Flushy then? He was only 75. Oh, wow. But that, that really could have turned the tides because if you'd forced there, it would have been an awful Uber. But now they're pushing 65 into last. With full Pilot's going to be spawning in four seconds. So they're sending in two scouts now trying to deal with that pirate. They do get him down just as quickly as before though, but Merlin isn't as close. They're not going to be able to get that frag straight away. They're coming around the back. Rising again, once again, gets another quick frag. But, and they're not going to be able to get any time or point. This is looking like a much better hold from main court. They've got... Um, they've got, still got their demo up there. Sittler is on the back of the point trying to get something done, but he's pretty much alone, left in alone now. He's going to get the frag though. The oh, scout rushing on the point. Got that about half cap. Sittler is still alive Settler though. He's getting damage oh, onto no. that heavy. The scout's going to be rushing him soon, and there's no one left alive for TCM to help him. That um, that was still, I think, much better than any of Main Crew's pushes we've seen, um, but not as good as their first one. Yeah, the Rising consistently gets that early pick on the flank. He's really, really hurting. TCM's push, like obviously the double kill wasn't enough last time, but that early pick onto Samsa and he got a decent bit of damage onto a scout as well, I think. It's like really kind of slowing down the momentum when they push in. But what oh, the air actually goes Samsa down, by down Samsa was hiding in the corner on the barrels. They've this got uber advantage, but they really push. could just go now. Do you think they will? 
or it looks like they want to build instead. I mean, their advantage is tiny. I'd, I'd say that's the one call. War's still there, but all this time they could have been working a point, but... Yeah, I agree. But I mean, we always had his tickies on point pretty much the whole time with these pushes before, so having him there for the initial push, I don't think it would make a massive amount of difference. If they're going to be hitting that now, they really need to go quickly if they want to go with it. Flush is uh, itching to go with it, as we can see. Really close there. The, um, the, heavy comes, the Uber comes out. There's no Pyro this time, but Merlin is going to have his Uber just in time, and they really, really need Uber. to hightail it out of here. They're going to use Captain, but they might not lose anyone else here. Oh, Ellie just gets taken down by a really nice shot from Sam just at the end there. There's Kafka still forward trying to get the frag. Onto Mirrorland, but Mirrorland is gonna survive it. Rising 2 goes down to low health, but um, that's good hold from Ankle, and they should be definitely able to push out to middle at least. Flushy survives, but he pretty much means nothing. I mean, he gets an extra 10% Uber. Like, that, his team got completely destroyed. I mean, the Uber was, it took so long to force Mankle that. They were they were so far down on damage, and look now they just Minkle is just rolling in. They've got the momentum. They just oh wow! Almost completely. Again. She yeah. is rushing in trying to cause something, but he gets destroyed. And yeah, another complete wipe, and this should definitely be a round for Minkle. Yeah, and they're just surging forward at the moment here. Rising is moving so far forward. Um, hit an air shot somewhere in that um, that melee. Um, now standing forward in this lobby, just waiting for someone to overextend. They've got a full uber. Flushy went down during that. So this should definitely be the um, counter round for main call. But they just haven't been able to push this last so far. And with that pyro there, they really need to change it up. Finally going through a different exit. So it's going to take them longer to get the point. And Kafka takes down Kyla on the flank as well. They finally take down Captain who was just stuck on the floor. But then the pyro is still alive. Finally going to go down. The, the soldier behind as well. Sounds like he's going to take down Mirrolin. But it just depends now on how much this heavy can do. The heavy is going to go down. And Flushy is still alive. Settler is still alive too. He's just spamming pipes out, but he's getting pressured now by a scout. Flushy is still alive. Settler really needs to hit on this. If Settler can hit the soldier, then it might be catastrophe. But War is going to come and clean up, and we're going to see one all. Rising. Oh, yeah. Rising definitely been the difference on these pushes. Like both defending and attacking. Like he consistently got frags on the flank, and it really makes a big difference to get to get your flank healthy and get the advantage. It's really helpful with your Uber because you know people aren't going to be behind you. Yeah, I definitely agree. I'm willing to see if Rising is going to do this fast rollout now, because, I mean, we haven't seen it yet. He's going for it, it looks like. But no, he just rolls out quickly into the storeroom, but then just walks the rest of the way. Um, maybe maybe a pretty solid counter has been found that's made it a bad idea to do that, but I don't know. Maybe we'll see it in the later rounds. As we see, once again, coming into this mid, Minkle being the, the more aggressive as they were previously, um, but still not making any massive moves as yet. Uh, yeah, it's still slow pace start. Why don't you yeah. think any of these teams are going for it? I think the the, the jumpers are scared. And look, there's there's one, but they get shut down really easily. It's going to be another mid for TCM. Oh, but it's Chris actually. Merlin's got Chris and he's about to use it on the scouts, but Flushy's already oh, got Uber. Big pipe from Setlet. Yeah, they they just got completely destroyed, and Flushy's bringing out the bones once again. And the big double question mark. Oh. It there. My charger stopped working, but it's just got it working again now, so we're okay, don't worry about that. Um, I'm glad to have you with me, Ali. Yeah, I, uh, the, the tape around my wire now is slightly hot, so I'm worried it's fraying and it's going to set fire to something, but um, if that happens, I'll let you know. Um, but yeah, TCM once more doing amazing work. The crit's not paying off. Settler's pipe staying true. I don't think I just don't think they built quick enough to the extent that when by the time Merlin was ready to pop, they had Uber already flushing. Well, they yeah, had I'm, I'm not really sure what's it. going on with the building. It seems when when Minkle push across the point, they just get destroyed by jumpers. But when they sit back, they get destroyed by spam. So I'm I'm not really sure what to do. If I was in it, it's shoes. They are oh, they're pushing right on the trigger. I like this. They know that Merlin isn't going to have Uber yet, but they're but not he's really almost getting, got it. They're not getting close enough. Merlin, they've only just got one frag. Here. Kylie doing such a good job of distraction. The Uber comes out. I don't know why he popped Merlin. There was no one putting pressure on him. They could have just forced the TCM team out, but TCM doing a good job anyway of getting out as soon as that Uber came in. And War overextending. He's going to go down to Settler. Settler is going to go down too, but they're going to get Rising as well. And then Sam goes down as well. This is going to. This is pretty much straight trades, and we're down to three for three. TCM looking like they want to come back in, but the rockets from Ips are so good. And the follow-up damage from Sam, he's taken down two, he follows up with the three. Nice 3k from Sam there, completely tears apart the remaining TCM players. They got greedy, they didn't think about the spawn times. I mean, there's no way you're going to win that. I mean, they had the scout, the Sam's need to come and back them up with pretty little straight, like, fresh off the spawn. But Zettler's actually got a sneaky little sticky trap up here. Here is being seen, never mind. And Ubers are... 
actually, Plushy, Plushy's still dead, so Uber's there heavily in Menkel's favor. So, I'm gonna see Samsa, see if he can get the force out of here as they push mm. into mid. But it's like Menkel wanna push before they even get it, and him just giving it to them. I don't think there's gonna be like any frag trade in this situation by the looks of it. TZM really didn't wanna throw away our players. I mean, they're in a 1 1 situation, and last time they got wiped on middle, uh, Menkel pushed all the way to last, so. I think just letting Minkle have it and being closer to their Ubers themselves is a better decision here. And the onus is really on Minkle to get in their faces before they reach that Uber. Flushy on 70% right now. Warhol, yeah, overextending, trading for Samsung. Once again, that's a good trade for TCM. They really much rather have a demo man than the other team not have a soldier. They take down Happy Cool, but Flushy is on 97%. He's going to have his Uber for last hold. And they've managed, they've lost two points for it, but um, they have got Uber to counter at the moment. And it's going to be a better Uber, actually, a much better Uber coming out here for TCM. They take down Rising, oh, no, and it's a little Mirren. Oh, the big disastrous. juggle. Mirren and Michael Gallup here, nice punch and set that's taken down. This is much better now for TCM. The flank is on from Ips. He's, he's just doing a good job of distracting there. But Seller, once again, is doing a really good job with his chasing at the moment. Takes down Ips as well. There's still a couple more fights going on, but they're winning them all, TCM. Happy Cool takes down Kyler. That is, that is that is a very impressive feat for any scout. Yeah, the TTM players have definitely had their Weetabix and they're definitely doing really well in terms of DM. Like you, normally you'd see Happy Cool run into a one v one with Kylo. It doesn't matter. You just expect Kylo to retain. But wow, Set is going incredibly aggressive. They want oh, more he gets down. But mate, oh. Smiley, aka Samzy, picks off Flushy, I assume from forward spawn with the sniper fully charged body shot. Yeah, he was he was in forward spawn actually. I've not seen that forward spawn being used that much actually, but you can see why, because you can see all the way to choke with that. As we see now just in the aftermath, the melee main course DM is just coming out strong. Captain goes down and finally Kath going, that's gonna be a full wipe for TCM. Yeah, that was uh, the med pick. If the med pick wasn't there, that would have gone disastrously wrong for Minkle because they were completely caught out. But uh, Samzi does really well to keep his team in it. I agree. And looking now, we're seeing Happy Cool on Spy. Is that he's? Oh no, he's doing what he did before and just oh, he's uh, every every scout in chat should take note of this. He went he went to Miralin to check for the crits, and then he went to Sniper to check because you'd think if either Sam or possibly Rising was Sniper, then you can imagine that being a possibility. And that they are actually um, a sniper. If it said sort of Mirlin, you'd know there wasn't a sniper. Otherwise, it would, because it wouldn't have taken Mirlin's name above an actual sniper kind of thing. I'm sure you know all these details, Stark, but yeah, I've just never seen it done so well in an actual practice. Yeah, um, it's definitely not done that commonly as it is, as Hadical is demonstrating now. Um, but yeah, coming in, this we're gonna have a new versus new situation on last. Uh, really seeing if Maincore figured out the formula yet for competing. Their pirate is clearly visible there. And the last time they pushed from bottom right, it worked out much better. But it does look like they're going to try and push from that area anyway. I'm so surprised. They're sending the soldier into force. Now Rising gets completely denied by the pyro. He's going to get shot out of the air by Sheepy as well. Then the spam coming out from Settler now, which is going to deny Minkle getting through that getting through that choke point without sacrificing players. Uh, Samster is going to go down, trying to edge his way into lobby a bit too much. Going to run into a Kyla for fun. As the Uber comes out now, completely jumps over the pyro. The pyro doing such a good job. Of denying the medic. Mirren might not actually get out here. He's, oh, he just about gets out. His Uber lasted for so long there because he had no one to heal. War is going to try and come in, but just the soldier walking up there in his face is enough to distract him. Oh, the big jump from Ips juggles up that soldier and shoots him um, shoots him down. That must have been Sam's going down there as Captain cleans up Ips. But yeah, yet yeah, again, another good hold from TCM. Yeah, I really like what Samsa was doing then. Like, Rising bombed in, didn't get anything done. And Samsa just immediately suicided in as well. Actually, he just did it again. And Mirlin just survived. I think it was about 19 HP, something along those lines. But Rising had died, and there's a certain amount of time before Rising was up again. So Samsa just said, I'm going to try something. I've got 15 seconds to do it in, and just suicide in. If it doesn't work, it's fine. It's even. If it does work, his team's got something to push off. But yeah, and four Sam minutes left. I Ipsy really is think... on spy, uh, on sniper, sorry. And oh, you can see the medic. Oh! Before he shots the soldier in front of him, Flushy surviving by the skin of his teeth. And I think that's Samson not watching too closely for the sniper. And he, look, he's getting in again. This is really poor play for whoever should be watching that door. He's getting free shots. Good work there, but yeah, Ips has just stood there. War's um, sticky trap is gonna take down Settler there. Where was Settler? I think that must have been on main door. Was that? 
gets completely blasted back. And the um, main core team is just making so much space at the moment. Ips just does get takes a one shot too many in there. It's going to get pressured out. But his space he created is going to allow the whole main core team to get in. They've taken down Sansa, they've taken down Sheepy. And it's just three players left alive. Flushy just about gets his Uber out. And they're going to trade Ubers on the point. But there's just. They need, they need spawns to come in. They do get um, Settler coming back out, which is going to be really big for them. But the soldiers are instantly on him. And Sam's just going to run on the point, I think, and going to cap out. The medic gets down there, but it's just two of them left alive, and it's going to be too short. Three minutes left. Still definitely possible for TCM to come back, but... Yeah, man. Rising was so just, close. Rising was smashing idiots on that push. I think he did about 700 damage that push. I'm kind of curious on, on these oh, rollouts. Wow. War seems pretty slow. And no one yeah. seems to be doing the, the fancy rollouts that everyone's seen on YouTube. Just rewatched Rising on the stream. <laughs> he did immense work in that push. I think Rising has shone through as MVP so far for me, for main call. Um, still thinking if he's doing anything extra special. He's not actually, he's just stood on the hut with if They're just waiting for any jumpers to come forward. Settler, though, is winning the battle at the demos. Takes down Kyler. War just, like, not standing out, as you said. Um, I think from the first middle, really. Um, yeah. It's hard to critique, like... It's hard to critique a demo for not doing something, but when Settler is getting picks on scouts, then um, really shows a lack of, I don't know, war denying him or war getting the similar frag on to the opposite scout kind of thing. Um, but we're going to see yeah. a new super push at the moment. It looks like TCM want to go through that cave area. They've got um, Dead Man and their pocket right there with them. They're going to have to uber early. The pure amount of spam that's coming down. And Miralin, they do actually get the force from Miralin. Big air shot from Ips. Juggles up Captain and takes him down. And Flushy might actually get out of here. Massive work by Ips. They're doing really well to take down Captain. And then jumping behind Flushy's actually. They couldn't get out. They take down Ips in the end. But the frags are so much in favour of the moment of... Um, at the moment of TCM, it's just Sheepy left alive. Miralin's down to 90 HP, but um, unless Sheepy can... Oh, Sheepy, Sheepy wins a 1v2 against both War and Kyla. Can't get any more, but and he gets really a big nice meat shot on Rising as well. If he had one more shot, that would have been a third player going down. And Captain's bombing in, he's going for Miralin. Miralin just surfs away. Miralin's playing really well at the moment, making, making these soldiers look like fools. And wow, TCM are pushing in, and Settler's got a great opportunity to do damage here. The counter jump though, surely Flush is going to go down here, he's being completely focused by Samzy, no one's seeing Samzy. Settler completely focused on Ips, manages to get him down though, but Kyle is going to take him down in return. Happy to take down Miralin at the other end of the map though, so it's going to even things out in the long run. And there's three for three left alive, but I think Kyla and Sam are just going to completely dominate this. Sheepy needs to perform another miracle if he wants to win this one. And just Captain left alive at the moment for um, TCM, he's going to be all the way out on second. Captain is playing incredibly well though, but Ips showing in that last push out for um, that last Uber for main call that he is just as good. Time has been added. Oh, I'm surprised that TCM didn't go for that. They seemed a bit sedate walking around in lobby, like whether they were going to go for it or not. They could have contested that. I mean, Merrick Minkle had a lot. Well, they really mid, need you right now. And now they're going to make. There's a minute left. Oh yeah, there's only 50 seconds left, and they're getting the frag. They're getting the frag. Should be a second. And look at the frags. They, they need to keep chasing. Scouts. They need to keep chasing, rising so low on the flank. Time but they're really slow if they'd been a bit more quick. 40 seconds. Up. It's still possible, but with an Uber versus Uber fight to come, it's going to be really hard. Uber should be equal right now, but uh, Flushy needs to. Oh, nice rockets from Nips. Completely takes down Flushy. That's got to be game. It's going to be some insane DM. Captain does take down Rising, but the Uber is just still there. And War, nice pipe in the middle of that Uber to take down. Um, Samza comes in to take down War, but it's just not going to be enough. And the GGs are going to come out. It's a complete wipe from TCM. Just 15 seconds left, but a 2-1 scoreline. Much closer than we could have hoped. And I think I'm probably the best game we've seen tonight. Yeah, that was a really good game. And the 2-1 indicates a slow game. Really back and forth. And uh, that's going to be it. Well played to Minkle, but yeah, very well massively played to well played. keeping it so close. Massively well played to TCM. We've watched them throughout the whole night, and... Although there was like a moment in I think the second map when there was sort of a 10 minute wait on last, that map was definitely worth the wait. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing that during the season. Yeah, I mean, if you have a look at that performance, you could definitely argue that TCM have a spot in Prem, at least they should do, if they can pull it so close to Minkle, who are pretty much confirmed the best team in Europe. Yeah, I think they definitely deserve it. Um, looking across to the stats now uh, for that game, um, pretty much as you'd expect, actually, I think. Um, War topping the damage, um, soon followed by Settlet. War going 23 for 18 with 10k damage. Settlet with 
pretty much tanky damage as well, and a couple of hundred points behind him, going 32 for 21. I think fairly, I don't know, I wouldn't say outperforming, but definitely stood out. It was incredible. Yeah, Ips doing more damage than Captain, but getting a worse KD and less heals. So he's doing fairly well, but not just not getting the reward. Like, it seems to be Samzi cleaning up the frags. With the was, big thirty-three kills, he's top of the scoreboard. So many good, good game. So many good moments in that game, though. Like Captain hit about a million air shots. Ips, Ips got a few good counters as well. And there was a on one of the last pushes. There was a there was a reflect air shot from Happy Cool. I don't think we caught, caught it, but his pirate play was incredible, <laughs> especially on those first few. Um, especially on those first few pushes out. Um, yeah, David said he got the air shot, so that's good. And yeah, we said Rising is just um, was really good. Um, yeah, looking to see if we can get some. It, looking to see if we can get some people in for interviews. Us. I definitely, his performance on that map was definitely more than or greater than Kafka or Samza's. Although the ro the logs don't really reflect that, which is why you can't really trust logs. I give Rising the MVP, like you said, of Rising the MVP of I mean, main call and probably Captain the MB MVP of TCM. Although Settler played really well that game as well. So it's a bit of a juggle between those two. And Sheepy played really well. Yeah, Flush is asking to come. And Sam's good for coming to the interview too. Yow! Hi, Ips. Hello, Ips. Congratulations. Hello. Yeah, thanks. <clears throat> Ips, what was going on mid? Um, we're just not used to play Lego kind of mids. And we tried to do it as well against them and doesn't work. It seems you the only no way you tried to go aggressive early on was the first one, and yeah. War didn't do the damage that or to kind of back it up. Like he he did decent damage, but it wasn't good enough to keep the soldiers from destroying you. Yeah, it's all cool. I mean, it's really tough to play against teams that play mids like this because you can't work off anything. Regress if you don't have the perfect coordination which you don't have after three weeks of playing together, to follow up uh, Rising's damage instantly, and Rising is outstandingly good on this map, and like War and Me don't work as a clockwork against the enemy, then it's just bad. And War and Me underperformed tonight, in, in that match at least. I, like War's damage was uh, not coordinated with mine, so you end up not, not doing what you just uh, said is going to happen. Right? Yeah. So and, uh... if there's like, if you can build up a mid on like not committing to it, it's really easy to play against. But I mean, this mid on this particular mid is going to change drastically, so there has to be a different approach to it for teams that want to play it like this in the future. Yo. Who won Who won the mids? 4 0 to us? Oh, no. Yeah, good job. Oh, well, well, actually, <laughs> it was good one, there was another theme that we've been seeing all night was people yeah. pushing, yeah. pushing into last from top right and running into a pyro. Oh, yeah. Um, that was just atrocious. Yeah, we, we saw that once from UIPS, and then you decided to push out from different doors for the rest yeah. of that, I think. So yeah, just left, can't... like, the one, the one push where we could, like, take left side freely while distracting top right worked, like, really well. You just have to counter that pyro. The little corner where can, he can hide is so much different than we're used to it on, like, Gully Watch, where you can see him through the shutter door, so, you know, you can, like, pre-aim him. But, yeah. um, they... They surprised and caught us off guard every single time with that kid, and it was just, yeah. <laughs> well, like, one time we Ubered two scouts and we couldn't take him down because, yeah, it's just so good. If, like, in the combination with him standing there and people spamming the spot where the scouts are standing, I think they have really tough trouble, so top right might not be as valuable pushing anymore. In the new version, it really is with the shutter door. You can push a lot better, but um, in this version, it's just not feasible anymore, I think. Really? How does the shutter door make it easier to push? Because you can like bait spam, like you can bait spam a bit before. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to take the spam. Shut so you, you're standing... probably the worst place to push. <laughs> okay. Well, we can play Sorry. against you tomorrow if you like the new version, and then we can cast this with these two kids if you like. Oh Stood up. damn! Stood up. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. up. Yeah. Why um, would you play the new version anyways? Like, what's the point of playing an outdated version and a cup that is meant to try out a new map? Some side is saying I would never admit that the opponents played well. You played this well. Like, the strategy behind it was really good, and it worked. It's just that it didn't work, you didn't win in the end. Like, you won the mids, and the rest was just... You didn't win. 
That's in the games. end. Okay, about that. Yeah, and the game was sick. I was really tense. The game was pretty tense, man. Good play. Good games. Yeah, Ives, of, what uh, do you think good of good plays and air shots? Yeah. What was that, sorry? He, uh, Captain is fucking hitting ridiculous shots. I thought he hit more. He hit as many as, as I did, but I think he played a better. Like, he was more of a denial pocket, you know? He's like a little yeah. anti air gun just sitting on his house. Yeah, he, he got about, I think, four times he picked Rising out of the air and got a double once on Rising and his Rising jumped on his medic into choke. Rising still got the force, but yeah, I mean, his aim is out of this world. He's a budding Mike. Yeah, he's really good. Um, let's just. Yeah. We had the same result. I like these close results against um, you, Flash Young Granary, I think. Right, if you remember, it was like um, you were, we you went it. up like you won, you went yeah, up three rounds right. in a row, and then we kept four rounds back and won it. It's like the same setup basically of the mid, where you just stack you, your side with like both your soldiers and your scouts and your demo next to each other. So I mean, the strat is really good, and I, I enjoyed it a lot more than playing against Lego to before because the Lego would have rolled out with heavy sniper spies to mid and shit, like <laughs> playing like against the Highlander team. <laughs> so. I appreciate that, and in, in, I think in some way it works into the favor of the, t the, the, the players of TCM as well. Like, I think it makes no sense putting, uh, um, what's it called, Captain on gunboats and like roaming him in when he's so good at ash shots, you know? So they did everything right, in my eyes. Can I, can I just give a really, really quick shout out to sure. Mindy? Um, he's sponsored <laughs> us from the start, so um, just a really quick shout out to Mindy. Uh, we're representing him tonight, and uh, yeah. Just, uh, sorry. Yeah. Flusher, what was your yeah. oh, Flusher, Flushy. Flusher. What was your thoughts going into the game? Um, we knew that on paper we were a much worse team, like um by a long way. So we didn't really have much to lose um going into the game. And I just said we're gonna try and play exactly the same as we did against Coast to Coast and uh um the first team we played, Helicity Ninjas. Yeah. Your um, mid fights seemed a lot stronger versus main call than they did versus Hello Kitty Ninjas. Because um, you, you, were, you were winning versus Hello Kitty Ninjas, but it seemed that it was more due to their, their mistakes, like Hello Kitty Ninjas' mistakes. We, we, won, a, seemed... we, won, uh, we won 80% of mid fights against Hello Kitty Ninjas, 100% against, 100 against Coast to Coast, and 100% against um, um, main call. Sorry. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the mid fights, but obviously. Pushing last is quite difficult on this map. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's coming onto the mid fights thing. We know de you definitely can do the rollout, and I imagine Rising can too. Is there any reason why you didn't opt for like a fast rollout on one of the middles? But as I said, their setup is to sit on their side and wait for aggression. So if you send in Rising and me, they will just eat us alive. Like the mid is too wide, too 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 big. By the time that Rising would be like on, on their hut and I would be in that cave, like Chris would arrive on the map pack in mid, so there's no point. Something. Like, do, you, do you understand? Yeah, sure. I mean, what, what, with regard to that, I mean, when you've got that rollout, it's a lot funner map. What, what would you sure. put it any just... changes to mid to like make that more feasible? Or? Well, no, the shifts changes, on, to, the the changes to mid have been made, and we've played the new version against other teams tonight. Uh, Obviously, it's a perfect ride for uh, TCM to not go for the latest version and play the old one. In the new version, uh, there's a lot more incentive to and benefit of actually pushing over the bridge that is over, going over the CP. So um, you will see a lot more coordinated aggression and a lot more routes for uh, roaming soldiers. Like f this match where roaming soldiers just sit like in their med pack room and spam rockets over mid, we will not see in the future. Yeah, the the mid fight was probably the the worst <laughs> point of every game, where yeah. it would just be a minute of the two teams shooting at each other, and, and then, then one scout dies, and we everyone yeah. just backs out. <laughs> just though that we never got any of their scouts or anyone of their team because they're yeah. Sure. Well played. The uh, didn't work like this. Well played, this time. They had a good map, so well played too. Just played. Yeah. Um, so we know Main Call are pretty much going to be a team that's staying together for the next season. Flushy, with regards to you guys, I know obviously you haven't been playing seasons previously because of uni. Are, are you guys a team that are going to be playing next season? or? Yeah, we, we've, we've applied to Prem, so hopefully today's indicative of um, the respect we should get and the, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully the Prem spot that we should be getting because um, we've had some really, really good results in beating teams who apparently should be Prem 5-0. So um, yeah, pretty easily. So. Um, yeah, if we stick together. Name some names. Who um, apparently should be like, Prem, who's getting 5 
coast to coast are pretty bad. We beat them five down pretty much every I think they left a prem, did they? Like, they would be oh, a probably, fucking joke. Okay, fine. Um, no, no, like, I'm not, beat, not beat, beat. to you, but like, it would be a joke if they would actually be allowed to join <laughs> the prem. That's fair enough, because they're pretty, yeah, like, we beat them quite easily. Like, 425 GG well plays. Um, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. Teams going for prem. Um, apparently going for prem, like Eshock and... Uh, um, I don't know. Um, there's a new French team. We haven't we, yeah. haven't, we haven't played that yet, but um, they look pretty strong. So I don't want to say how we do against them. They deserve a lot of respect. Yep. Right. Okay. So I think we're gonna wrap this up, Ali. Sure. Sounds Thanks good. to Ari. Thanks to Ari for donating the keys. Yeah. Shout out to Ari, man. Yeah. He's a boss. Thanks for donating the one twenty thousand monitor to Merlin. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ari Magic Gaming. Yeah. Ari's a boss. Can I uh, shout out games, uh, Yeah, yeah, please. guys, if, you, if you've got any shout-outs, now is the time to give them. Shout-out to Heist, please give him feedback for this map. Don't write in his thread that you like Sunshine more than this map, that's not what feedback is about. Um, and also thanks. you're wrong. Also you're wrong because Sunshine is a Highlander map. Um, and you're obviously a Highlander player if you say so. Um, shout-out to Ellie and Star for casting, shout-out to Druids, and um, good night. Yeah, shout out to Mindy. Um, I don't really have any other shout outs to me, so just shout out to Mindy. Thanks for the opportunity. Um, Sam? We hope you've done, yeah. your night. We hope you've done your good tonight, so. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Red Shock, that's it. Sure. Well, cheers to um, Stark and obviously David as well on the stream. And oh, yeah, David. Ari, who helped out tonight a lot with you guys when you meshed about throughout the whole night with whatever server you were playing on, he was there to, to mop up the end for us. Um, but yeah, so thanks for tuning in, everyone who's watching. I'm not sure where we peaked or whatever. I presume that quite a few people have left since the end of the game. But yeah, <laughs> that was the Logjam Cup. How long has it been running? Do you know, Stuck? A long time. We've been waiting all my life. day. Two like, the, last, the last three days were just waiting for us. Playing 10 minutes, waiting an hour or something like this. Sure. Well, we'll see you guys again for some more log jam during the season, but that's all for now. Tomorrow, right. new match. New Cheers. Match. Bye. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye, GG.